why all of a sudden every model creator is trying to create their own agentic coding system within a CLI or terminal? Is this the end of IDEs? And why it's going to be very critical for open weight models? We're going to explore all of this in this video. Now, like most of you, uh, I started my programming career within an IDE. Uh, but over the last couple of years, we have seen this trend of AI assisted coding IDs, which started with Cursor, which is a clone of VS Code. Then we saw Windsurf, uh, Tray AI, and a whole bunch of more. But earlier this year, Anthropic did something very interesting. They created Clot Code, which is a coding agent within your terminal. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, coding inside terminal is nothing new. Uh, people have been doing this for ages, especially the more experienced folks have been using terminal. Uh, so this was kind of a way of Anthropic to reach their customers where they are. We have seen companies like OpenAI create tools like Codex, have terminal-based component as well as web-based component. Now even Claude introduced their own web-based uh, Claude instance, right? So the idea is to just meet the developers or people who are using these systems where they are. But we are also seeing another very interesting trend. And that is for open weight models. Now, uh, there are a number of open source coding agents. Uh, client comes to mind, Kilo Code is another one. These are really awesome coding tools. But if you look at model creators like Kimi uh, K2, which is from Moonshot or Quinn, they are now trying to build their own coding system within terminals or CLIs. So for example, we have Quen CLI or Moonshot release their own Kimi CLI. Now the question is why all of a sudden, even the open weight models, creators are trying their own uh, terminals instead of supporting these IDE based systems or even uh, a generic open weight terminal or CLI based system. Well, I think it comes down to how these models are being trained and why the existing systems don't really show the full capabilities. So let me give you a quick example. If you look at something like Claude Code, you can actually use some of the latest open weight models, include, including Kimi K2, Mini Max M2, or even the Quen models. There are ways to do it. However, uh, Claude Code, which is one of probably the best implementation of an agentic coding system out there. This is specifically fine-tuned or designed for cloud models. And the latest version is Sonnet 4.5. Now, some of these capabilities cannot be used by any open weight model. So for example, when cloud uh, Sonnet 4.5 was initially released, Cognition dropped this blog post. Rebuilding Devon for Cloud Sonnet 4.5 Lessons and Challenges. And the basic summary of this article is that they had to go and rebuild Devon completely to support Sonnet 4.5. Now, the main reason is that this model is very different than anything that we have seen before, especially it is context aware of its own context window. So building a system like this uh, is going to be very different than um, something like an open weight model, right? Now, uh, more and more of these open weight models are becoming agentic in, in nature. A really good example is the uh, M2 model or Kimi K2 or even the latest DeepSeq R1 model. However, the way these models are trained are very different from each other. The way they do uh, agentic tool calling is very different. So a generic system is not going to be optimal. And that is the reason that we are seeing this trend uh, that the open model, uh, open weight model creators are trying to build their own CLI based tool to actually show their real capabilities. So just to show you an example, here is an output from Minimax M2, which is the latest, uh, arguably the best coding agent that is open weight. Now, it does something very interesting. During its reasoning or thought process, there are interleaved function calls or tool calls. So the way it works is it's going to think for a few seconds and it's able to use um, some tools within its thinking budget or thinking traces. And then it can continue 
thinking. But not every coding agent out there supports this. So for example, Open Router is a very widely used systems for trying open weight models because you have a number of different uh, third party providers. Now they implemented uh, this preserving reading blocks within Open Router uh, by using the Cloud API specifications. Uh, but turns out for M2 specifically, this is broken. So here is Skylar, who is part of the uh, Mini Max team. He's actually the head of engineering. He said, uh, we strongly recommend you to pass the thinking back manually by uh, this reasoning details open router uh, provider, right? So if you see the open router was not able to support it. Now, if you are using a subsequent open weight uh, or open source system, but you're calling Minimax M2 through open router, the system is going to be broken. So apart from um, these open source uh, agentic coding system not being well optimized for every model that is going to come out, uh, there is another issue as well. So if you go to uh, open router, uh, for every open weight model out there, you're going to see there are a number of different providers who are uh, hosting this model. If you go to M2 Max, uh, you see there are a number of different providers hosting it in different configurations. Now, all of them are made equal. The uh, Moonshot or Kimi K2 team actually ran an analysis where they compared the uh, tool call capabilities of different providers on open router against their own uh, API. And they found that in some cases, the differences are drastic, right? So you need to be very careful of which uh, model provider you select. Not all of them are made equal. Okay, so coming back to the discussion of uh, CLI-based agentic systems, I personally feel like CLI-based agentic systems are uh, really great for wipe coding for developers. For non-developers, you have wipe coding tools like Lovable Replit. But for developers, the CLI-based coding agents are extremely useful. Now, with wipe coding comes concerns regarding the quality of the code as well. And one of the biggest one is security of the generated code. So you want to use tools to evaluate the security of your code base that is generated by AI agents. And this is where the sponsor of today's video comes into play. So this video is sponsored by Sneak, who are building a number of different tools that lets you evaluate the security of your AI generated code. Now they're doing a webinar, a securing wipe coding, addressing the security challenges of AI generated code um, on November 20th. It's open to public and I highly recommend to attend this if you are interested in learning more about how to secure your AI generated code. Also, if you are part of the International Information System Security Certification Consortium and you sign up and attend this session with your member ID, you're going to get one continuing professional education credit. Details are in the video description. Now back to the video. At the end, I want to revisit IDEs versus CLIs. I think you can make case for both of these, but we're going to see more and more use for specifically CLI based systems. Perfect example of this is Cloud Code, which is one of the most powerful agentic coding system out there. But what it makes it powerful is access to some extremely simple yet very effective tools like Bash and Crib. We're going to be seeing more and more systems which uses these tools without being interfered by the bloat that is introduced by IDEs. And now, since these things are also available on the web, I think you can use the same setup to reuse them. Now, in relation to open weight models, my recommendation is to always use first party API where possible. This is where you're going to get the best configuration. If that is not possible, try to host it yourself if your resources allows you. If that is not possible, then make sure you test multiple different API providers. Don't just go for the cheapest or the fastest one. Second, if an open weight model provider has their own agentic tools, such as CLI or terminal based tool, then go for that. That will give you the best possible performance 
out of these fintech systems rather than relying on a third party implementation especially for open weight model models i have seen that the first party integrations and tools are usually a lot more powerful than if you use it with third parties so for example watch my video on mini max m2 model if you want to see that in action anyways i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching and as always see you in the next one